10 Things to Give Up to Succeed. Let your past guide the actions of your future. There's never been a better time to look back on your life and reflect on the accomplishments you achieved. It is also important to consider any setback you had and how it helped you grow. Reflecting on your past experiences, accomplishments, and learnings will help you determine the goals you hope to achieve in the future. Whether you find yourself setting the goal post higher or just aiming to stay consistent with your goals, you want to make sure to avoid certain things and behaviors in order to see success. Here are 10 things to leave behind in order for you to succeed in the future. Number one, excuses. Consider this to be your year of accountability. To achieve your goals, you must hold yourself accountable. And to do that, you must stop making excuses. Think of every excuse you make pushing you further and further away from your goal. To find success, think about what's holding you back from achieving your goals. If the answer ties back to you in any way, Write the excuses down and cut them out to encourage growth and success. Number two, multitasking. Though it seems like an efficient solution, multitasking is detrimental to achieving your goals. When you attempt to focus on more than one thing at any given time, your focus becomes scattered. This can lead to silly mistakes, errors, and overall bad work. When you want something done right the first time, stop multitasking and start focusing. Number three, saying yes to things that don't support your goals. Sometimes we feel obligated to say yes. There are a lot of reasons for this. Usually, those reasons align with wanting to promote a good reputation for ourselves, to be seen as helpful, useful, fun, or spontaneous. However, not being able to say no may force you to put the projects that really matter on the back burner. If you've experienced the inability to put your goals before your reputation, it may be time to reevaluate your priorities and that's okay. This doesn't mean that you shouldn't be a good person. It just means that you'll need to identify how to prioritize your goals and actions. For example, next time someone asks you to a party you don't want to go to, it's okay to say no and use that time to work on one of your projects or goals. Number four, toxic people. At some point in your life, you'll encounter people that may not have your best intentions at heart. If they don't support your goals, they bring you down, and they make you feel bad about yourself. They are a toxic person, only holding you back from achieving success. If you realize that someone in your life is acting with malice, it's time to go out of that relationship. And even though ending relationships can be difficult, if that person is producing negative energy in your life, it's not worth having them by your side. No matter how challenging it may be, you'll feel a weight lifted off your shoulders afterward. Number five, time spent on social media. The average person spends around 145 minutes a day, over two hours on social media. Many spend even more than that. While catching up with your friends and favorite celebrities online can be a fun and entertaining hobby, it can quickly turn into a mind-numbing and time-consuming activity, if not regulated. If we don't manage our time on social media wisely, we can watch as productive hours pass us by as our eyes stay glued to the screen. To help combat the addictive social media scroll, set a time limit on your social media and spend the majority of your time doing something more productive, like exercising, reading, or spending time with loved ones. Number six, undervaluing what you currently have. Always be grateful for what you have in this life. Practicing gratitude is proven to improve positive thinking. mental health overall. Even if there are times you are unhappy, use that as motivation to learn from the past and improve your situation. 
Number seven, seeking permission from others. If you wait for someone to permit you to succeed, you'll be waiting forever. Number eight, procrastination. Similar to giving excuses, procrastinating stops us from reaching our goals. Instead of holding off on your work until the last minute or pushing it off continuously, take accountability for it and get it done. We only see success when we take action and do something. Number nine, the belief your goals are too big or too small. Your goals are completely different from someone else's, so there's no need to compare goals. Instead, focus on how you can achieve your goals and move on to the next ones. Don't waste time overthinking or overanalyzing things like the size of your goals. Just start accomplishing them. Number 10, comparing your life to others. Just like how goals are completely different than someone else's, your life is completely different than anyone else's too. When we realize that we are an and have the means to accomplish our goals, we will no longer feel bad about the journey we're on. We'll only then realize that comparing ourselves to others will only distract us from our journey. Thanks for watching, and remember, as Brian always says, if you want to change your future, take action and take action now.